It came in the mail today. Came, it's a uh, came delivery. Uh, you, 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 this, this is a part that's required if. Uh, This right here is what you. This right here is what you'll get if you order that uh, Ford uh, 12 volt starter. You need this thing uh, to build that starter stick that Jay Miller has done already built here on the. Man. It's got a part number. It's got a part number on the end right here. Just saying. But uh, you're gonna need one of these. I'm saying. Yes, this was this is the project at hand is to be I'm building a I'm building a I have an engine over there it's a three horsepower M International and I want to test the Magneta it's a IHCL mag low tension on to a real life circumstance so so I I, I, I took this off one of them old parts engines I had outside. Mount, I'm gonna mount it on some angle arm and the, the, the igniter will be located in the correct position where it would be in relationship to the dimensions onto the engine in level this way and plumb up and down crossways and all to be in a position that if the head was on the engine and I bolted this up right here, and I turned this right here, the spark produced would make a spark at the igniter. Just saying. So, so that's on. I'm gonna move that back for a day. It, it's, these, it's these other projects that comes up that takes me so long. Uh, actually, it don't take me too long. Uh, uh, as a test to this thing right here. So, some days I do more work than three men do. Because, you know, most times if you've got three men working in a shop, they're going to talk for some amount of time. Especially if it's a union operation, they're going to talk for a lot of time. I'm just saying they do it. But this is what we ordered. <laughs> Look at that. It's got a part number on the box there. Uh, how cool is this? Look at that. Okay. Well, it, it's uh, it's complete, ready to use. So I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna saw that off with a hacksaw. That, that'll be the easiest way. I'm going to take this Bendix off and uh, we'll get that sawed off from my
it has a pin in it right there to get that Bendix off. So, now to get that out of there. Let's get that done. What the project is is to build to to build a um, a starter. They call it a starter stick. Jay Miller built one here on the YouTube. Look up Jay Miller, and you'll know why that I need this right here. So thanks, Jay. Uh, for the dimensions and all, uh, quite helpful. So we'll get this wired up. Uh, it's been inspected right there. It's okay. Inspected okay with a little sticker on there. So, and it does have two bolt shear nuts to hold it together intact. And I think when you use the thing, you take these two nuts off and just shove it up in there and bolt her together. 12 volt it is. So, get that done. And 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 you and you and you 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 get that ring up out of there. This little snap ring right here. You get that thing up out of there. And then Well, this spring's got a lot of, this spring has a lot of pressure on it. Hmm. And even that should. Come fairly up onto that. Well, I, 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 cl I clamped it together there. If you clamp that together, like this right here, you, you can get this pin out of that hole right there. It's got a spring in there. But I didn't, I didn't cut the other spring in too, this one, back in this area. But that's that's some parts right there you can have for a build your own project junk box fillers, but not to be <laughs> cut this to length, get it mounted on that framework. Twelve volt. Take note. 